The U.S. is steadily evacuating people from Kabul airport. The desperate crowds pushing to get in, causing chaos. 20 people have been killed around the airport, most in mass shootings and stampedes. Overnight, a clash outside as Afghan guards exchange fire with unidentified gunmen. One guard was killed in the clash, which involved American and German soldiers. The crowds are slowing down the evacuations. The Taliban are generally allowing people to reach the U.S. base at the airport, but now too many people are coming. The United States only wants to evacuate American citizens and Afghan translators and contractors. But a State Department memo obtained by NBC News says every time they open the gate, 150 non-approved people get in. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul, which has moved to the airport, putting out this statement in multiple languages. Flight. If you do not have approval for a flight, you should leave the area surrounding the airport immediately. For your safety, the safety of your family. President Biden recognizing the challenges. There is no way to evacuate this many people without pain and loss of heartbreaking images you see on television. It's just a fact. My heart aches for those, things, those people you see. Thousands of Afghans have made it out of the airport, and the first stop for many is Doha, Qatar, including Afghanistan's so-called robot girls. These high schoolers competed in competitions around the world, won events and innovation awards. 18-year-old Somaya is the robotics team captain. Was it difficult for you to leave Afghanistan, to leave your family, to leave your home? 17-year-old Ida uh, is the never chief programmer. Up. And uh, I have a recommendation for all the people that are, that are still in Afghanistan or around the world. Just do not never give up and continue the things that you want. We see those emotional moments more and more every day now. And Richard, there's a new development this morning and some tough talk from the Taliban over just how long U.S. forces will stay in Afghanistan to help with the evacuations. What's the latest on that? So the Taliban have been cooperating with the U.S. military. They have been trying to keep people back. Sometimes they've been doing it in ways that, uh, that the U.S. finds too, too brutal, whipping people, firing in the air. But they have generally been keeping the crowds back, and they have not been attacking U.S. forces. President Biden himself said that they are in, the U.S. military is in close contact with the Taliban to make this process, chaotic as it is, as smooth as possible. Now the Taliban are saying, if that extends, if the U.S. extends the deadline beyond August 31st, their position will change. They didn't say exactly how it will change, but it seems that the Taliban's patience with this process is running out. Richard Engel with that new reporting this morning. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.